Can I have the mic? Please. Okay. Why don't we take it? I said that, please. One second. I can be an engineer. Okay, yeah, you can be yeah, yeah, you can actually, yes. You got the uh, needles, so your needles actually are marked. Okay. So you can always actually use the needles to actually mark your uh, landmark. So you got two centimeters, that's the pivot to work on. Two centimeters medially, uh, two centimeters uh, below. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you can you see what we're doing? Hello. No, please. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Can you see what we're doing? No, please show the landmark. Okay. So you got pivot tubercle there. Yes, sir. Which we use to mark the inguinal ligament. Okay. You need to give two centimeters medial to it, and two centimeters uh, caudally. Yes. Now so that now, is. Yeah. Now is the camera okay now? Ah, that's fine. Okay. So we got 1.5 centimeters. Okay. So let's say we. This is five centimeters. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. You have to look for the director response. He's got a spinal block here, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. You may have a Do the. You should get it. Do even for TUR, no? Yeah, there you go. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. yeah. The spinal oh, no. is almost Sorry. there. Yeah. 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 Can, you, can you see the director response? Yes, sir. Mm. So. Okay. So you got the adductor muscles, okay? We will reduce is reducing the current now. Okay. And what are the nerves you are uh, that is yeah, a, is a is point eight five is reducing the current. We started with one point five as usual. Okay, point eight. Okay, can still actually see that. I can still feel it under my hand. Yeah, go down to point five. Yeah, yeah, go down. Yeah, that's fine. Go up again. It disappeared. Yeah, that's it. Point eight. That's fine. Point eight. Yeah, yeah. It go down. Yeah, go down, go down. Yeah, yeah, point 0.7. It's disappearing around point 0.7. Okay, we also have to remember that this patient had spinal. You will get some more. Relief. That's fine, but that that it's in the right place. Aspirate and inject 10 ml. We're going to give. Okay, so again, this is this is a good block, obturator block. People can use it. Uh, well, not necessarily, okay, because uh, we do not know, we're not using ultrasound at this level, okay, but if you are very, very proximal, and then you will have both nerves, but these nerves can divide into anterior and posterior branches already at this level. But we were getting a good uh, response from the adductors, we assume that it is both, both nerves. Okay, and now see uh, the, the electrode was on the forehead. Can you see that? Yes, sir. So it doesn't have to be on the on the leg, <laughs> on the same leg. It can be on other leg. It can be other arm. It can be on the buttocks. It yeah. can be on the tummy. Anywhere. But not on yeah. your head. Yeah. Don't put it on your head. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's done. Okay. We done done everything. This patient should actually have good analgesia yeah, lasting for at least uh, next 18 to 20 hours. But don't forget to actually uh, prescribe in regular analgesia. Yeah, so multi mode analgesia. But because patient was lying, lying prone, so yeah, I just want to see, demonstrate, demonstrate yeah. the markings. Yeah. Okay. So that is the thing. Okay. So this is the biceps tendon, and this is uh, semi tendinosis or semi membranosis. Okay. Now from here, almost around seven to eleven centimeters, you can actually block it any, anywhere. Okay. Each each finger there is around 2.5, 2.5. Okay. That is. That is five centimeter. This is around so seven seven five. This line is exactly yeah. seven centimeter. Okay. You See, I don't need a scale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is the uh, called uh, intertendinous approach. So you mark the two tendons and you go on the midpoint. Okay. Bang on the midpoint, and you can actually do do the block straight away instead of actually going and marking this and that. This is actually a very very good uh, uh, landmark. For them. So we now we'll show it how we can do it in a supine position. Okay. The main thing yeah. is you have to remain slightly laterally rather than medially because the artery is on yeah, more yeah. medial side. Yeah. Yeah. Person, your attendant should be oh, your uh, helper should be on the other side so that you can do it here. You can actually see the marking. Okay. Even if you don't mark, you can actually feel them easily. And all you need to do is you need to keep perpendicular. The problem is because when you're standing on this side, that is on the side of the patient where you block, 
the tendency to go medially, okay. You should actually be a little bit lateral, uh, remain as perpendicular to the market.